Moving to California is a dream of many, 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 many people. In fact, last year, almost 475,000 people, that's a half a million people, moved to California. After all, California is a state where there is Disneyland and the Golden Gate Bridge. But there is a dark side to moving to California. So many people have moved here and chosen to live here and now finding out that they have been completely wiped out. Sadly enough, they are saying goodbye to their life investments and to their lifetime savings that they have worked so hard to. California is an expensive place to live in. Today, in this video, I'm gonna give you some information on the pitfalls and things to avoid when you are going to move to California. Yes, California is a dream state. Everybody wants to move here. California is not what it used to be before. So before you move here, know these things. California as we know it has changed tremendously forever. Yet we see it over and over again. Many unsuspecting buyers are buying homes here in California and many of them are regretting buying a home in California. In fact, they have massive regrets because they did not know what they were getting into when they bought their homes. So for you, this will be a great video to be cautious. As a buyer, you need to be realistic about what things are going to cost. It is bad enough that people have overpaid for the homes that they wanted. But new homeowners are being stunned and blindsided by all the unexpected and high cost that they did not expect at all. And now they are regretting paying them and they have no choice. Now again, I'm not trying to alarm you or scare you from moving into California, but before you move to California, do your homework, do your research, because if you do end up buying a house in California, and I hope you do, I don't want you to feel the massive regrets that many have felt. So it's just information for you to understand and what's happening in California. And in fact, it's happening to a lot of other states as well. So let's start with one of the costs that is unexpected. And people are stunned about this, including myself. And that has to do with the cost of high insurance. Not only the cost of high insurance for your house and the wildfires. Thousands of families in Anaheim Hills, Orange and unincorporated Orange County were evacuated Monday as the wind whip fire threatened neighborhood after neighborhood. But also to have those earthquake insurance and other disaster insurance. Now we've always paid insurance for many, many years, but in the last two or three or four years, because of the massive wildfires and the flooding and other unexpected hazards like earthquakes, insurance companies have skyrocketed the premiums. Insurance premiums are going up double, triple, quadruple, depending on the area. I myself live in Anaheim Hills and I'm in a high fire hazard zone. In fact, in my 20 years that I lived here, I have been evacuated twice from my house and I have seen fires three, four blocks from my house. And now because of the California regulations and the skyrocketing cost of insurance companies paying for those wildfire damages and earthquake damages and the flood damages and the hillsides because of the heavy rains falling and causing havoc, insurance costs are going through the roof. So you as a buyer or the buyers who bought two or three or four years ago, of course, paid the high interest rate. Of course, they paid the high home prices. And now they're saying their home insurance and other insurance jumping from, let's say, $200 a month to $600 a month. That is stunning and regrettable. National insurance companies like Farmers Insurance, Allstate Insurance, State Farm Insurance are not even writing new policies for new homes. So we as insurance or when people buy insurance companies, they are limited to some of the insurance companies and they have to pay what they have to pay because of the closure of insurance companies not writing newer policies. A lot of the companies are taking advantage and price gouging those insurance premiums on top of the high insurance premiums that they paying already. Welcome back. More and more homeowners are abandoning home insurance because of skyrocketing costs. According to Bankrate, the national average for home insurance jumped 20 percent last year to more than $1,400 annually, and that's just for a $250,000 home. Look at this quote from a home buyer in San Diego. With the cost of everything rising and then on top of that, the insurance premiums doubling, tripling, quadrupling, it's too much for people, said Obregon. He is a buyer in San Diego who bought a house a few years back. Is there an earthquake risk in California? Yes, there is, and there has always been. 
but now the insurance premiums are rising on earthquake insurance. Earthquake insurance is voluntary, but it's always a good idea to get it. I've had it for 20 years because when a big one hits, I don't want to be able to pay 500, 600,000 in cost. So voluntarily I'm getting earthquake insurance and I'm paying a high premium and now I'm going to pay higher premium. The second thing that's happening is the home prices are staying high. The home affordability in California is very, very, very low. So people who move from out of state, they're going to feel the pinch of the affordability. In fact, in California, the home affordability is only 16%, which means that 16% of California households could afford to purchase a medium priced home. And in California, as of quarter two, 2023, the minimum income required to buy a medium priced home in California is $208,000 which is a very, very high income because I'm sure the national household income is way less than $100,000. So one, you're gonna to move to California and pay higher prices and higher insurance and higher everything, but you have to be able to afford the other things, which we will talk about later on. But you must have a high income to be able to afford a home in California. You have to be one of the 16% to be able to afford a home in California. And in the third quarter of 2023, the medium price home in California was $830,000, almost double the national average, which is around $430,000. California homes are about twice as expensive as a typical US home, as you can see in this chart. The third thing that is very expensive in California is the property taxes. As you know, when you buy a house in California, the property tax is a percentage of your purchase price when you buy. Let's say in Anaheim Hills where I'm living, the average or the medium home price is $1.2 million for a single family home. So if I would have bought a home for 1.2, my property tax per year would be close to almost 15,000 per year. That's over a thousand dollars per month in property taxes. And guess what? They go up every year, anywhere from one to 3% every year, year after year for that 13 thousand or fourteen thousand dollar property tax may hit twenty thousand dollars in a very short time in fact let me give you an example if we take an eight hundred thousand dollar home which is the california medium average approximate price and at today's interest rate at seven percent on an eight hundred thousand dollar house and if you put twenty percent down your mortgage payment comes out at fifty one fifty eight now that includes the principal and interest of forty two fifty eight and it includes a property tax of seven hundred and thirty three dollars every month for the the life of your loan or for the life of the house that you own. The homeowner's insurance I guesstimated is around $167. So almost $733 a month you're going to pay for the life of the home that you own every year and it's going to go up and up and up every year. That's a big chunk and that's a payment that you'll never get rid of. So when you do buy a house do consider the property taxes because the higher the home price, the higher the property taxes. So if you buy something lower than $800,000 or $700,000 or lower than $1.2 million, you can lower your property taxes. So something you want to consider, which most buyers don't consider, and then they regret paying high mortgage payments, paying high home prices, and now paying high property taxes, which goes up every year like clockwork. Number four, California is expensive. You already know that. But did you know that officially, statistically, historically, the cost of living index or what we call the cost of living is very, very, very high. The cost of living in California too high for many working families. That is the consensus from a study United Ways to California just released. When you buy a house in California, whether you're moving from Texas or Florida or anywhere to California, you're excited to buy a house, you buy a house, and then you have to go to work. Did you know that the gas prices are very expensive in California? We still have millions of drivers in California who depend on gas. Gas prices in California are usually among the most expensive in the country because of different factors. High taxes are partly to blame for the high price of gas in the state, but there's more to the story. In fact, California has one of the highest gas prices in the nation because they have a lot of environmental protection agency regulations, other transportation regulations, other junk fees that the California state has bestowed upon the gas prices. So if there's gas prices like in Arkansas is $3, in Alabama it's $3.20, in Connecticut is 3.49 cents, in California, per gallon price is $5.45 per gallon. So imagine you try to buy a house and you are trying to buy 20, 30 miles away from the metro areas because homes are expensive. So they say go to suburban areas 
or less crowded area, so you buy a cheaper home. Well, guess what? If you're gonna drive 20, 30 miles per day, and I know a lot, a lot of buyers who do that, guess what? Your gas bill is gonna be 300, 400, 500 dollars per month. I bet you, you did not account for that. Here is a chart of cost of living and disposable income by state. As you can see, California, the total cost of living is number three on the list. Very expensive. Cost of living is $53,000, $171. Third only to Hawaii. Of course, Hawaii is an exception because it's a tourist town, it's an island, so very expensive. So in reality, it's only second to Massachusetts where the cost of living is $53,000. The rising cost of living remains a prominent concern across the USA, especially in California. This includes the cost of food, utilities, gas, healthcare, transportation, and on and on and on. These costs are not gonna come down, which adds to your cost of living and to your principal interest tax and insurance payment of your home mortgage. So do account for the cost of living before you move to California. A lot of the California buyers who bought two, three, four, five years ago are regretting, and they're regretting and regretting because the cost of everything is through the roof. The cost of hamburgers today is around seven, eight dollars in a fast food restaurant. Used to be two or three dollars, few years back. So you might say, I'm not going to buy a brand new home. I'm not going to buy a newer home. I'm going to buy a fixer home or an older home and fix it up. That's great. And if you can do that, all the more reason for you to do so. But keep in mind that over the last three or four years, several things have gone up. As I mentioned earlier, gas, food, electricity, etc., etc. But the two key things have gone up nationwide, especially in California, one is the labor cost has skyrocketed and that has stunned a lot of buyers who bought because when they call a handyman or a contractor, the costs are very high as far as the labor cost goes. But the other thing that has gone up, especially in California, is the construction cost, the remodeling cost, the two by fours, the tiles, the glue, the staples, the nails, the concrete, everything has gone up, especially in California. So let's say you do buy a fixer home or an older home and you wanna fix it up. That's fine, but it's gonna cost you more than what you thought it would. So do account for those costs because in general, the cost of living is very high as we talked about earlier, but the cost of labor, the cost of insurance, contractors charge you more because they have to pay more insurance. They have to have workman's compensation. So that is all passed on to the consumer like us. So be forewarned that remodeling and repairs is also expensive. So keep that in mind. By the way, please comment below to see why you feel California is expensive or something that you wanna share with other buyers like yourself and also subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. The other reason, if you have not already bought and are moving to California, you are more than welcome. But, and I hate to say but, but in 2021 in California, almost 450,000 homes sold in 2022 it dropped to $340,000 and in 2023, the homes sales dropped to $250,000. Now you might say, wait a minute, that does not mean that homes are selling more and more. Homes are selling less and less. Actually, homes are selling more. The reason the home price dropped is obviously people are waiting to buy because of the high interest rate. But the real reason home sales dropped in California is because of shortage of inventory. And a lot of the sellers are just waiting for the rates to drop so that they can buy something cheaper. A lot of the buyers are waiting for the rates to drop. So everybody is holding and once the rates drop, which it's supposed to drop this year, it's an election year, not sure if that has anything to do with it, but once they drop, there's gonna be a big, big, big demand. And that means one thing, prices will only go up. Just a reminder for you to comment and share with us what you think about moving to California means or owning a house in California means. Please share with it, I would really appreciate it. Now, if you are coming to California, you are more than welcome to come. This is not a scare tactic. This is not to discourage you. I just wanted to give you the information. I talk to a lot of buyers, I read a lot of articles, and we are noticing that a lot of the buyers are regretting and stunned and surprised of the cost of maintenance, cost of unexpected expenses they have in the house. So you're welcome to come here, do your homework, do some research, buy below your means if you have to, to reduce your property taxes, to reduce your maintenance, to reduce your principal interest tax insurance payments, whatever you can to reduce your payments so that you can afford a nice house. Maybe it's even smaller than you wanted, but this will not surprise you. And the last thing we want is that you become a slave to the house. You want to enjoy your house, live in the house, relax in your house, spend time with your friends and family and not be a slave to the house and regret paying the mortgages, regret paying the insurance premiums 
regret paying all those maintenance bills. Enjoy your house. It's your dream home. Please watch this video. It's a surprise video for you selected by YouTube.